Media Today. Australia's turbulent past pinch cut. The fort which has never witnessed the coming of the invader and from which no hostile gun has ever been fired. Here, with its rugged medieval character, it presents a striking contrast to the triumph of modern engineering, Sydney Harbour Bridge, which, like some mighty colossus, spans the shores in the background. Where this mast now stands was once the gibbet, but towards the middle of the last century, this grisly reminder of the island's earlier use was abolished. With a friendly but totally unexpected visit of two American frigates and five lesser warboats in 1839, it was decided that Sydney was inadequately defended. And two years later, the work of converting Pinchcut into a fort was commenced. However, the project was suspended for a number of years and it was not until 1857, during the administration of Governor Denison, that the work was completed. The Martello Tower is reputed to be one of the finest in the world. In the 60s, this aisle was occupied by Royal Artillerymen from England, who manned the guns. But today, the sole occupant is the janitor, whose peaceful duties include attending to the red tower light, ringing the fog bell, taking daily records from the tide gauge, and firing the one o'clock gun. In strolling round the island, the eye is attracted by the stonework. And we notice with interest the deft fashion with which the huge blocks of stone are locked together by small, diablo-shaped cross pieces of granite, exhibiting the utmost skill in craftsmanship. Contrary to general opinion, prisoners have never been incarcerated in the cells at Fort Denison, transportation having been abolished before the fort was completed. These cells were built to provide safe storage places for powder and shot, and were used exclusively for that purpose. Ah, uh -huh, what's this? There's something afoot. And now we come to the real business of the day. No, madam, that's not sago, that's gunpowder. And better in guns than in soup. Why, I believe we're going to witness the firing of that historic old gun. Yes, he's placing the charge in the muzzle and now we pack it firmly with a ramrod. Next, the friction pins are inserted in the firing hole. Friction pins that were manufactured 50 years ago. Oh, well, we're nothing if not up to date. And now the pulling of the lanyard ignites the charge. And it's lunchtime. With the completion of the fort, the name Pinchcut was officially changed to Fort Denison. And as such it stands, a never-to-be-forgotten link with the cradle days of our nation. <laughs> 